There are few issues that are more pressing for Florida's communities than the fight for clean water. Our waterways impact everything from the health of our community, our economy, the environment, our businesses. That's why one of my top priorities has always been making sure that our state and our local leaders have every tool possible to tackle that clean water issue. Now this year I introduced nine bills, including the Local Water Protection Act. The Local Water Protection Act, it would address non-point source pollution, things like runoff from agriculture or pollution from septic tanks. Now by supporting projects like septic to sewer conversions in older homes or the creation of new wetland basins to naturally filter water, we can keep dirty toxic water out of beautiful waterways like this. This bill has been approved by the Transportation and Infrastructure Committee and we're going to be working hard in the new year to make sure that it's signed into law. Also this year there's been some major progress on the Lake Okeechobee system operating manual. Now after my bill was signed signed into law that required the Army Corps of Engineers to redo the management schedule for Lake Okeechobee and its toxic waters. We've been fighting to keep that toxic water out of our communities by making sure that that management schedule reflects not sending toxic water into our coasts. We've now moved on to the next phase of the process. The current plan, it's an improvement on the status quo and what we've seen in years past, but it is not as good as it can be. And as I've said for months, the baseline for the new management of Lake Okeechobee has to be this. Start from a place of do no harm to any waterway or any of our communities before benefits from Lake Okeechobee's water supply to communities and agricultural irrigation start getting doled out. This plan doesn't do that. The biggest winner is still the sugar industry and in order to make them the biggest winner they're still trying to step on communities like ours. But this is still a long way from over and I'm going to keep fighting with every tool at my disposal to protect our treasure coast.